Um, can you tell me uh, from your perspective why the Compton PD and the politics behind it, why it was absorbed by the LA County Sheriff's Department? Well, actually, rumors are people were trying to, when I say people, meaning uh, politicians within the city and some of the community had an outcry for the LA County Sheriff to come and take over Compton PD. That type of concerns started way back in the 70s or 80s. With Com but the city was always strong in backing the local police. Uh, and uh, even though people bought feasibility studies and stuff, saying it's best to bring the county in to service. But uh, the city wanted to maintain, basically the community wanted to maintain their own police department. And they always fought that off. But that start coming back, that uh, proposition, uh, proposal, start coming back around when uh, Omar Bradley became mayor in his council. Uh, they felt as though the Compton Police Department weren't doing what they wanted to do, but that was just wanted them to do or doing enough to combat crime and stuff and figure the L.A. County Sheriff would be best to service. Start bringing that proposal back, and it got strong. And they start proposing a lot of things in terms of the police department, uh, bad apples or anything that was going on kind of negatively, and try to make it a big thing. And they wanted to get rid of the Compton Police Department. And they later on, they were able to muster enough council votes, although the community at that time was kind of split into whether or not they wanted to transition over to the sheriff department. But it happened. <coughs> I think uh, it finally came to head in 2000. I think uh, our last day as Compton Police Department was September around the 19th or the 20th of, of 2000. And then we were assimilated into the LA County Sheriff Department. Um, when we did the transition over to the LA County Sheriff Department in two, September 2000, prior to all that, as I uh, aforementioned, you know, the community and the, the politicians over the years often considered assimilating into the L.A. County Sheriff Department. So way before my time in the 60s or so. It finally didn't pick up some steam until uh, the Bradley administration came in about uh, 97 to 98. Uh, and they were pretty strong. And uh, they start more or less, I don't want to say if they were like not trusting the Compton Police Department, but uh, I know personally that Omar Bradley wasn't too happy and the city manager wasn't too happy with the Compton Police Department in 1998 area and stuff. And he started really entertaining uh, going over to the Sheriff Department and he later on got enough votes on the council to really start phases. Um, and his kind of, as I saw it, his kind of uh, <laughs> belief about it and this hearing, uh, hearing from the administration, our administration, that uh, the politicians, council and the mayor, through the city manager, was a little concerned about the FBI investigating the city, you know, for whatever reason. Uh, and I think uh, the the council and the mayor felt as though that the chief of police was cooperating uh, with the uh, FBI in the investigation and didn't like that. Uh, <coughs> I don't believe that was true, but I don't know because I wasn't that high in a minute. But that was the concern. <coughs> and so uh, Omar really uh, believed in that and got the council to believe it. They uh, finally, in 2000, decided to transition uh, uh, or at least contract the sheriff department for the services. And the pretense to the city was basically it would save more money, uh, you know, because the basic uh, choice for the sheriff department, don't hold me to the figures, I'm just giving you a, a little example of the figure, was like about the budget for the police department was about $16 million 
or something like that that we had. Uh, but the sheriff department, it may be high, but whatever it was, the sheriff department undercut the budget that we had. But our budget was cons it was constructed with not just patrol services, it was constructed with patrol services, auxiliary services, clerical services, support services, all that was total. It's coming to me now, maybe it was about 19 million or something. But the sheriff department came in with about a 16 million thing. That was the reason why they say they really should go. But in that 16 million budget, that was just basic police with so many cars and all that. But any auxiliary uh, programs or, or, or units, you had to pay extra. But the city didn't find all that out until they went, once they contracted and all of a sudden the sheriff budget got up to 20 something million. They realized that, that that the community, I'm sure, also realized it wasn't cheaper, but they wanted uh, they wanted us out, basically that administration, and they voted us out, and we went, and they made all kind of allegations about corruption and certain incidents and and all that, but they called us the corrupted ones and so. But half of the county later on, the same sheriff department that they brought in investigated the council. You know, all of them got arrested, although all of them weren't guilty of anything. They did get arrested, the whole council. And I was thankful that a couple of them, they exonerated them. They, they weren't involved. But for the main part, the ones that were, lack of a better word, conspiring to get rid of us, uh, they ended up with cases. So that was, I felt, the interesting part of that. But things work out. We're okay. But that happened in 2000. Uh, you know, assimilation into the sheriff department. So after the um, Compton PD was absorbed, what did a lot of the officers that were Compton Police Department officers, what did they end up doing afterwards? Oh, I think shoot, almost 90% of us got hired by the sheriff department. I mean, a few guys went to other departments. You know, they didn't want to go to LA County. And some of them went over to Rialto and Inglewood, a couple of other local departments, they all got jobs. Uh, I don't think anyone, maybe a couple officers that were being investigated by our department for whatever, I don't think they got hired by the sheriff department because of their pending uh, investigations. But the majority of us ended up at the sheriff department and spent most of the career. Some of them are still there at LA County Sheriff. So if we were Corrupted as the council or mayor was uh, putting out, uh, sheriff department would have vetted all that and find out. And those that were, if really tied in anything, wouldn't have gotten hired. Uh, so that was just a premise that they were trying to put out because uh, Bradley wanted to get rid of the thing because he had a division uh, issues with the chief and uh, all that. But again, tying into what I talked about earlier. They wanted us out. We were supposed to be so corrupted, but a year or so later, the whole council got uh, arrested because of what they felt was corrupt activity on the council. Although all of them weren't caught up in there. As a matter of fact, the female council people definitely weren't part of whatever they was doing or was found because they were they were exonerated from that. As a matter of fact, they weren't even charged. So anyway, that's kind of how things got a little crazy with the... Uh, assimilation into the sheriff department.